Hello, Daniel. Welcome to the class. Hello, thank you. You are the only one. What happens with your classmates? I don't know. <laughs> no, we're going to send them a message, okay? Okay. <laughs> so did you work yesterday microphone microphone is off oh excuse me no we last uh, night was uh, friday mm -hmm. and Amanecimos uh, develados ayer. So you woke up, yeah, tired yesterday. Yes, uh, yesterday I I woke in my house. Okay, okay, excellent. So you're not going to work tomorrow? No, until uh, Tuesday. Until Tuesday, okay, okay, perfect. So it seems I have classes with you today and tomorrow, right? We are free today and tomorrow. Uh huh. Because I have classes uh -huh, today and tomorrow. And tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, correct. So it seems we only have had three mm -hmm. classes. We have five classes to go still. Okay, excellent. That's perfect. Okay, so welcome to the class. To the other ones that are just connecting right now, I can see that we have Hugo and Anna, Hasmin, uh, ready here in the class. Thank you very much, guys, for joining. I know it's Sunday <laughs> and we'd rather be doing some other things, but here we are in the English class. So I appreciate your punctuality and I appreciate that you are here with us. Okay, so thank you, Daniel, Hugo and Anna for being here in the class. Now, I don't know if your classmates are connecting really or not, because uh, we're supposed to be studying classes at three and it's three or four already. So I'm just going to wait for them like a minute, probably. But um, I need to start with the topics for today. Because with you, I was checking, we have only had three classes, right? Only three classes. So we still uh, are in the section three, I believe. Yeah, right. We are almost, we must be in the section number three. So uh, we're going to continue today with that. And I think the topics we have for today is like there is and there are some topics like that. Let me check. Wait a minute. Okay, so I believe that the last topic we talked about was the simple past, right? That is the topic we were talking about in the last class. So the activities you did in the past. Am I right? Si estoy correcto en eso? The past? We talk about the past, right? Melanie, I think you were here in the class. Hello, Melanie, welcome, by the way. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Good. You were taking a nap. Excuse? You were taking a nap. Estaba tomando una siesta or not? I'm not. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, lunch. At lunch? <laughs> oh, you were having lunch. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Got it. I just asking Melanie if you do you remember in the last class we were practicing the simple past. Si estuvimos hablando del simple pass, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So, we're going to do some activities related to that, but the first activity, and I think you sent uh, some messages about the activities you did in the weekend or during the week. So, uh, just to do like a review of that topic, so vamos a hacer un review de ese topic para pasar al de hoy, to see the topic we have for today, okay? So in the last classes, we have been talking about the simple past. So this is a simple topic, right? It is not a difficult topic to understand. 
And with the simple pass, we have, uh, let me see, two types of simple pass. So we have the regular verbs, and we also have the irregular verbs. As you know, with the regular and the irregular verbs, we have different rules, right? So the first rule with the regular verbs are like, for most verbs, we add ed at the end to make it pass, right? So for example, work in the past will be worked. Now, for example, let's see, travel, travel, which is viajar, in the past will be traveled. No se pronuncia la de como tal, but that's traveled, traveled. Now, uh, for example, another verb can be play, okay, play, and we have played, played, right, played. Another one, let's see, want. Con todos los verbos que terminan en te o de, si se pronuncia la ed. For that reason, it will be wanted, right? Wanted, wanted. So those are called regular verbs. Verbos regulares. We only add the ed at the end of the verb. But for other cases, we have the irregular verbs. And with the irregular verbs, it's a little bit different. Because, for example, we have go. In the past is went, right? Then, for example, we have see. In the past is saw, yeah? For example, we have... Mm, let me see another one. Whoa, see. Uh, wake up. Okay, so wake up, like levantarse. In the past, we have walk up. Okay, wake up, walk up. Another one can be drive. In the past is drop. Oh. Exactly. So what is the difference here? With the regular verbs, we have verbs that we add ed at the end. They are pretty simple to write, maybe a little bit difficult to say, the pronunciation might be a challenge. And with the regular verbs, uh, it is different because the structure changes. As you can see, it's not the same verb. The structure changes, right? The same here, the same here. Was so that the same in this part? In this part is only, wait a moment. It is only ed, 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 and ed. But if you can see in this one, everything changes, right? With the war, it changes. The whole thing changes. Go, changes, and it goes into went, right? So that is the main, like, explanation about the simple pass. Now, in the simple past, for all the verbs, regulars and irregulars, we have rules, right? To make affirmative statements, negative statements, and interrogative statements or questions, right? So with those rules, we need auxiliaries. For example, for questions, we need did. And for negatives, we need didn't, right? So that's what I'm gonna to explain to you in this moment, how to make affirmative sentence, negative sentences, and interrogative sentences, which are answers as well, okay? Okay, I'm gonna, si pueden tomarle un screenshot ahí para que les quede, para que pueda, so I can continue. Okay, now let's go again with the simple past but we're gonna go with the rules. So we have subject, bear in the past, and we have a complement. This is for affirmative, right? For example, she played soccer, and we can add a time, right? Just to make sure we're talking about the past. She played soccer yesterday, for example. Wait, wait. Another one can be I wanted an ice cream. What is ice cream, you guys? ¿Qué significa ice cream? 
helado. Exactly. So I wanted an ice cream. Another one can be mm, they went to the school. Okay. So here we have three sentences. And the sentences are in the simple past following these, right? If you can see in every sentence, I have subject, 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 which is uh, the person or the object we're talking about in the sentence. Then we have the verb in the past, laid, wanted, and went. And then we have some complements, right? So this is the affirmative. This will be the affirmative of the simple past, right? Now let's go with the negative. For the negative, it's similar, pretty similar. But here is going to change. We're gonna use the auxiliary didn't, didn't, right? And now the verb is not in the past tense anymore, not in the past tense. Because in this case, we're gonna use the verb um, in the simple present, porque ya tenemos un auxiliary. We have an auxiliary, right? And the auxiliary is in the um, simple past, right? So for example, in this case, I'm gonna have, she plays soccer, sorry. Va a cambiar, it's going to change because I'm gonna add the auxiliary, didn't, right, at the beginning. So the verb needs to go in the base form, right? She didn't play soccer, changing. Let's do the other example. I wanted an ice cream. Now I'm gonna say that I didn't, so I'm gonna add didn't, I didn't want an ice cream. As you can see again, the verb is in the base form. And lastly, we have they went to the school. What is the present for went? Go. Go, correct. They didn't go to the school. You can see. So this is different in that way that we are changing that because we have an auxiliary who can help us to identify the tense. And the tense is the simple, I mean, the simple past, yes. So this will be negatives, okay? All clear so far? Todo claro hasta el momento? Okay, now let's go with the questions. For questions, the only thing that we're going to change is that the auxiliary is gonna open the question. Did, right? Did, the auxiliary. Then we're gonna add the subject, the, the verb in the base form, the suforma base in the base form, then a complement, and finally a question mark, right? So for example, she didn't play soccer or she played soccer yesterday, it's going to be like this. Did she play soccer? Again, the verb, it's in the base form because I have the auxiliary, did. Next sentence. Did, Melanie, ask me. Teacher, no sé si soy... Yo oh, casi no le escucho lo que está diciendo. Sí, casi no le escucho. Ajá, gracias. What about now? Ice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it was my microphone. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, did I want an ice cream? Okay. Okay, and the last one is going to be, did they go to the school? Pretty easy, right? It's pretty easy. How 
like they say it in English, it's not rock with science, right? No es ciencia de cohetes. It's easy, 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 easy to understand. Okay, so these are questions, right? Now, to answer the questions, um, in English, we have two types of questions, right? In English, we have two types of questions. The closed questions and the open questions. Closed questions are those you can answer with yes or no. For example, these three are closed questions, yes or no. And then we have the open questions with the WH question words that you can answer answer differently. I'm gonna give you some examples of answers. For example, with the first one, we have, did she play soccer? We can say, yes, she did. Or we can say, no, sorry, no, she didn't, okay? This is the affirmative answer. This is the negative answer. In the next one, we have, did I want an ice cream? I can say, yes, I did. Or I can say, no, I didn't. Okay, again, affirmative answer and negative answer. Did they go to the school? Yes, they did. Or again, no, they didn't, okay? Now, these are closed questions, closed questions that you can answer yes or you can answer no. But we also have open questions. With the open questions, we use WH words like what, where, when, why, right? So this one, I'm gonna make it an open question. If I ask you, did you play soccer? You're gonna say yes or no. But if I ask you, where, where did she play soccer? In this case, no me puedes decir sí o no, right? You cannot tell me because if I say, hey, where did she play soccer? You say, yes. I'm like, what? Right? I'm gonna decir, ¿y dónde jugó soccer ella? Yo le digo, sí. Sí que, right? So we don't have an answer there. So what should be the answer? In the question I'm asking about a place because where is to ask about a place. So where did she play soccer? Ah, okay, so I'm gonna tell you, she played soccer in the park, right? In that case, I'm telling you that, that she played soccer in the park. And I'm making an emphasis on that because I have to give you a complete answer, okay? Let's do the number one. The number two, I mean, did, why did you want ice cream? ¿Por qué querías ice cream? Why do you want ice cream? And I'm going to say in this case, todas las preguntas de why se contestan con, can you tell me the answer? Because. Good job. Because. Because I like ice cream, right? That can be the answer. Just because I like ice cream. Why do you want ice cream? Because I like the ice cream, okay? So here we have <clears throat> the examples. Affirmative sentences in the simple past. Negative sentence in the simple past. Questions and answers. Short questions, short answers. And here we have open questions to talk about places, people, reasons, etc. Do you understand this or do you want to ask any questions? All clear? All good? Yes, all good. Okay, perfect. Perfect it is. Okay, now let's continue. And now we're going to play a game, okay? Let me see here. Have you ever played Kahoot? ¿Han jugado alguna vez Kahoot? Have you ever played Kahoot? Suena, pero no me acuerdo. 
Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna send you a link, okay? Les voy a enviar un link. Y ustedes tienen que escribir su nombre en ese link. Va a ser un juego como una tipo competencia, ¿verdad? Ustedes tienen que ir contestando unas preguntas sobre esto, que es el simple past. Y les va a ir dando puntos a medida que contesten bien y correcto, right? So I'm going to send you one. Wait a moment. Simple past. Because I, don't, I cannot find it. Yeah. Wait a second. Did you send the link yet? No. Already? No, I haven't because I'm trying to find it. Wait a moment. Stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. Wait a moment. Okay, so I'm going to... Wait a moment. Está generando link. Wait a second. Okay, en el link solo tienen que poner su nombre, okay? You, you have to write your name. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to send it here. Aquí lo voy a enviar a este chat, okay? Le da puntos por contestar correcto y por contestar rápido. Aquí me van a ir apareciendo sus nombres cuando se unen. Excellent, we had David already. Excellent, we have Hugo. I'm not loading my phone, but I will try. What is it? Oh, no, Melanie. Daniel, I'm waiting for Daniel. No se vayan a salir de la aplicación porque igual no les va a dejar cargarlo. Si no le funciona ahí, eh, I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp. Lo voy a enviar al WhatsApp, tal vez ahí lo deja. Uy, ¿qué pasó? ¿Alguien se desconectó? Ya no. Melanie, solo Melanie aparece ya. ¿Por qué? Es que si se salen de la aplicación, lo va a sacar. Ok. O sea, si, si, si se salen, ya no van a aparecer. Ahí está David de nuevo. Excelente. Sí. 
que tengo problemas que se me cierra. Se cierra la aplicación o la, o la página. La página se me cierra. No. Ahorita vuelvo a entrar. Ajá, no vuelvo a Zoom, solo quédese en esa página para que salga de una vez. Ahí tenemos a Hugo, excelente. Bueno, vamos a darle solo one minute to the classmate so he can connect to the class. And then we're going to start. Okay, vamos a empezar. We're going to start. Let's go. Eligen el correcto. You have to choose the correct word. Excellent. It's go. Because went. ¿Por qué no puede ser went? Because we have the auxiliary did. We have the auxiliary. Let's go. Excellent. We have David and Hugo. Tuve que. ¿Cuál es el pasado de have? Had. Ah, <risa> todavía se puede unir. Si, si entra con el ping del juego, todavía se puede unir. I will try. Pero de primero me saco de la reunión, por eso es que ya lo intenté. Si quiere apague la cámara. Ajá, tal vez así le da una mejor calidad de internet. De primero la apagué y lo intenté, pero lo intentaré nuevamente. Por a ver si le deja. Please, let's see. If it lets you. Me va avisando si lo deja, Daniel. Lo escucho. Ok. Ok. Permito. Uh -huh. Hacemos una esperita. No se It's ok. No se vayan a salir de la página. Están ahí porque si no. <risa> Sí, ahorita creo que sí. Yes, ya. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yes, está aquí. Oh. Ahí en. Ok, está esperando la otra pregunta. Ahí vamos con la siguiente. We're going to go with the next. Ok, ahí vamos. Yesterday, bandeja paisa por lunch. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el pasado de eat? Uh -huh. Ajá, yeah. vamos ahí. Eight, correct. Okay, now Hugo is in the first place. Excellent. Let's go. Walk. Interpersonal singular is. Simplemente, ¿cuál es el pasado de walk? It's the same. Um, Todos los sujetos es the same. It's walked. Walked. Okay, remember the simple past, lo que les explicaba. Okay, now we have Melanie in the third place. Walk. 
what is the pass of meat? Oh my God, the pass of meat is met. <laughs> no es made it. Es un verbo irregular, es un irregular verb. Bueno, creo que ya no se le va a olvidar, I hope so. <laughs> okay, excellent, Daniel. Let's go. The past, remember the past. Oh no, nobody <gasps> is left. The past of live, el, el presente es este live, the past is left. Bueno. You at the party. Estabas tú, el, el pasado del verbo to be para, para, para you es... Realmente, el presente es am, is, y are. Y el pasado tenemos was y where. ¿Cuál sería el pasado para you? Pasado de are is. Where. Mm -hmm. Is where, correct. Excellent. Okay, les puedo decir que este es un irregular para darles una pista. O sea, no terminé en ed. This is an irregular. Irregular verb. Ajá, okay. Okay, let's see this one. Last night he the milk of the refrigerator be her for he. Eh. Okay, this is irregular. Solo hay dos que tienen el correcto de último, pero solo hay uno que es pasado, el otro es con ING, por lo tanto sería. Yo me que estamos hablando del pasado, o sea, estas dos no pueden ser, ¿verdad? These two no, no pueden ser. Una de esas dos, went o went, pero ¿cuál está en ING y cuál está en pasado? Ok, good, correct. Excelente. The match was, el partido fue pospuesto. Ok, this is regular, regular. Hay una que está separated, so that is not correct. Correct is the two, they join one. Postpone, no, this one cannot be, porque tiene que terminar en ED, regular, recuerden que es regular. Esta no puede ser porque está separada, right? Excellent, Daniel. You're getting there. Mire, se conectó de último, but you're getting there. Excellent. We, uh -huh. a esta se las acabo de enseñar en una de las oraciones. I just gave you the example. Les acabo de dar la respuesta de esa. I just gave you the answer. Drop. Les dije la respuesta hace un ratitito. Les dije el pasado y en, en los ejemplos que les di. Se parece al pasado de okay, no, pero choose the verb which is in the past simple form. ¿Cuál de estos verbos está en pasado? Le va a sorprender cuál es. Caught. Yeah. The past of is caught. Caught, caught. Right? No, porque es presente, ¿verdad? Run tampoco. Y bring tampoco. Por ahí vamos, por ahí vamos. We're getting there. No se preocupe que se aprende. <laughs> Dice, convert the following sentence to simple password. Hay que convertir la siguiente oración al pasado simple. Creo 
recuerden, los dos verbos en pasado. Si solo uno está en pasado, pues no aplica. Por ejemplo, esta no puede ser, la uno no puede ser porque lleva la S. Y eso es presente simple. Uy, ya se acaba el tiempo. Three, two, one, no, no go. Ah, ok. Listo. Yeah. Heard is the past of hear, right? And then came is the past of comes. <laughs> we, the boss, because we, y se las acabo de dar una de estas. Missed, esa no se la di, pero luego es, 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 es presente regular. And this one is wake up, pero en pasado sería mm -mm. Ya tienen. Mist and walk up. Yeah. Excellent, Daniel and Melanie. Choose the verb that is in the past form. ¿Cuál de estos verbos están en pasado? Les puedo dar una pista, es el más longest. Is the longest. Is the longest verb. Yeah. Brought. Es el pasado de bring. It's a simple past of bring. Perdieron su vida. Ah, esa está fácil. It's the shortest. Okay, is lost. Yeah. Excellent, Melanie. You're in second place now. Good. Let's continue. The simple past form of the verb win. What is the past of the verb win? If I can tell you a clue, is that only changes one letter. One letter changes. That's all that happens. One letter changes. No, les dije que solo una letrita cambiaba. Win won, that's it. No. Okay, well, let's go. He did not tell me the truth. He me mintió. Uh -huh. L. I-E-D. Ya se la deletré. Ya se la di la respuesta. L-I-E-D. <laughs> But I told you the answer is lied. Lied. He lied to me. Vamos con el siguiente. Let's go. Hugo. Now is Hugo in the second place. Let's go. Let's see. The simple pass of the verb to be para la segunda persona del singular. Okay. So the second person is you. You. ¿Cuál es el pass para you? Si en presente es are, en pasado es... Word. Ah, oh, Daniel le dio la respuesta ya. Yeah. So, you have to write it right. Let's see. Correct is where. Excellent. Melanie is in the second place again. Melanie and Hugo are fighting. <laughs> Let's see the next. She, all her exams. She, good grace. Primero sería un verbo regular, o sea, con ed final, y luego uno irregular. En realidad es súper cortito. Excellent, yes, past, got. Excellent. Let's see. Okay, send her.
Ah, me equivoqué. No. La segunda tiene que ser el, la forma base porque ya está el auxiliar. Sí, la cosa Set. Sí, Respond. Sí. Uh -huh. Hugo now. Oh my God, Hugo en Melanie are fighting. Ok. Hay some cookies en... El primero es regular y el second es irregular. First regular, second irregular. Okay. Let's see. Two answers and two. Two and two. Okay, you see. <laughs> sometimes it's Melanie, sometimes it's Hugo. <laughs> Let's go with the next word, what it says. The money that I... Okay, the first one is irregular and the second one is regular. Okay, gave old. Okay. Let's go. No, Melanie. <laughs> what is the pass of where? Okay, so war, war, oh my God, todos en un cuadrito, todos eligieron un cuadrito diferente, ¿cuáles serían los, las posibilidades? <laughs> okay, ya casi nos acercamos a ti en, choose the verb that is not in the simple past, el que no está en pasado, solo el verbo que no está en pasado. Thanks to say not because... At the first time I see, yeah, I don't see the net. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! It's only brushes because the other it made. It's como made in China, <laughs> hecho en China, it passed. <laughs> Drunk is the pass of drink, right? So only brushes is the correct option. Okay, next. How many sentences? Only. Four. Or more. Uh -huh. Forget es presente, por lo tanto no puede ser eso. Is forgot. No, yo dije que forget no podía ser, porque ese es el presente. Oh my God, Daniel. <risa> este no puede ser porque es presente. Ok, el verde no puede ser. Green no. Ay, me equivoco. Sí, me equivoqué. Elijan con cuidado. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, it's thought. Thought. Uh -huh. Good job, Melanie. Excellent. Let's go. It was, but... uh, 
Dice, ¿cuánto? What do you add to regular verbs that end in E? ¿Qué se le añade a los verbos irregulares que terminan en la letra E? Solo se les puede agregar una D, porque ED no, porque ya la tiene la E. DD no y DED no. Estos no existen. Esto solo es cuando no tenga la T, la I, perdón, y este solo se agrega la T. Quería ver cómo nos vamos ahí. Esas reglas las debieron haber visto hace... Uh. ¿Cuál oración está gramaticalmente correcta? Esta tiene verbo en pasado, esta tiene verbo en pasado, que no es correcto, esta también. Solo hay una que puede ser correcta. Hasta se las estaba marcando, así andaba paseando yo el, el, el marcador aquí y decía, uh, no puede ser la correcta, decía yo. I knew it was you all along. Y la mayoría me puso la, ok, esta. They did not. Vale, voy a explicar por qué la green no es correcta. Ven que tenemos el auxiliar did, yes. Y luego tenemos el verbo que dice completed. O sea que el auxiliar y el verbo están en pasado. Las dos cosas, ¿verdad? So it's not correct. Ah, anda, Vamos a la última. Perdón. The last one. Aquí se resuelve todo. The last one. Eh, ya me salí. ¿Qué hice? ¿Saben cuál es el pasado de Rain? It's rained with ED is a regular. Bueno, vamos a ver cómo quedó el podium. Vuelvan acá para que puedan ver el podium. So you can see the podium. Vamos a presentarnos. Okay. Ahí va. The third place is para Hugo. Excellent, Hugo. Second is for Melanie. Good job, Melanie. And the first place is for. Y se desconectó Daniel. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> excellent, you guys. Good job. Okay, excellent. You did a good job. Y miren, y se desconectaron Hugo y, y David al mismo tiempo. <laughs> okay, muy competitivos. Ya lo vi que son competitivos. I saw you. You are competitive people. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's good. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to continue with a different topic because we have a different topic today. And we're going to talk about there is and there are. But before we go with there is and there are, wait a moment. I need to go with. Okay, David is here again. Welcome, David. Hey, <laughs> Mesa Cola. La, la, la aplicación, ya, yeah, ah. I saw that. TV. También sí, a Daniel pero, lo sacó. Pero nada más, pero no estoy en lo que estoy ahorita, más perdido de tu cara, se café. <laughs> don't say that, don't say that. Ok, so you guys, we're going to do an activity in this moment, and I'm going to explain a topic that is called contables and uncontables, ok? Contables e incontables. So we have contable nouns and we have uncountable nouns. What is a countable noun? Algo que sí se puede contar. For example, o que tiene una medida por sí solo de contar, right? So, an uncountable noun, a countable noun, perdón, puede ser todo aquello que se puede contar solito. Yes? So, we have uh, an apple. One apple, two apples, three apples. For example, we can say a pen. One pen, two pens, three pens. We can say one marker, two markers, three markers. But there are nouns or numbers that we cannot count. For example, the air, the air, the air we cannot count it. El aire no se puede contar. No puede decir, ay, hoy respiré 1500 aires. No, <laughs> you cannot say that, right? So the air we cannot count. What is another thing that we cannot count? Rice, 
Do you know what is rice? Arroz. Exactly. So the <laughs> rice, we cannot count it, right? We cannot count rice. We can say one cup of rice. In that case, yes. Pero no es que va a decir, agreguele mil cinco granitos de arroz porque si le agrega mil seis se le va a arruinar. Nah, right? It doesn't happen like that. So we have countables and uncountables. So we can make lists about countables and uncountables. For example, another one, and this is very important, chocolate. Do you think chocolate is countable or uncountable? Chocolate. Chocolate. Countable or uncountable? Like candy or drink. Whatever. Chocolate. El concepto de chocolate. Countable. One chocolate, two chocolate. No. No. It's uncountable. Listen to this. Porque si yo digo, me comí un chocolate, pude haberme comido un chocolatito, una barra de chocolate, o haberme tomado un chocolate. Eso no puedo contarlo. Tengo que decir un chocolatito, una barra, una taza, right? So I cannot count it. Again, this is another one que puede ser así como muy complejo. Money. Do you think money is countable or uncountable? Eso lo veíamos, Melanie. Uncountable. Ah, okay. So money. No, countable. Money is uncountable. Yes. Porque decíamos que el concepto. No se cuenta. ¿Qué sí podemos contar? The currency. ¿Y qué era currency, Melanie? Moneda. La moneda. So, dollars, I can count. Pesos, I can count, right? But money, no, porque no digo, ah, ¿cuánto ganas? Yo gano cinco dineros y vos, ah, yo gano seis dineros. Who says that? ¿Quién dice eso? Nadie, right? So, what we can count is the money, the currency. Currency es la moneda que circula en un país. Porque no es lo mismo one dollar que one peso, right? It's not the same. So that's why we cannot count money. Money is uncountable. Here is another one. The stars, the stars in the sky. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable, countable. Hay muchas, sí. No sabemos cuántas hay, sí, pero es eso. Es Exacto. Yes. Porque yo le digo, si veo tres estrellas en el cielo, no diría, a saber cuántas estrellas hay. Hay tres. <laughs> There are three, right? Si veo tres. Pero claro, son infinitas. Yes, they are. But I can count them. For example, as well, the Ana Yasmin, welcome to the class. Excellent. Woo, se pudo conectar. Excellent. <laughs> Finally. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bueno, está bien. Si gusta, puede apagar su cámara solo por lo del internet. Ok, Melanie. I mean, Yasmin. Sorry, Ana Yasmin. Puede por lo del internet porque siento que le está fallando un poquito el internet. Ok, excelente, pero qué bueno que está acá. Ok, again, decía, las hojas de un árbol, the leaves on a tree, you can count them or not? Countable or uncountable? Countable? Yeah, because I can say one, two, three. Que me vaya a subir yo el árbol a contar hoja por hoja? Nah, that's not possible. But I can count them. Si se cayó una hoja en el solio, puede decir, miren, hay cinco hojas en el solio. There are four, five, leaf, five leaves or four leaves in, on the floor, okay? So it's, it is countable, okay? So that you should keep on mind because we're going to talk about countables and uncountables because, porque también tenemos un tema de eso ahorita, okay? So let's see, um, I'm going to give you an activity. Wait a moment, what do I do? Okay, para las cosas que son countables, okay? I mean, que son uncountables, utilizamos medidas para contarlas, okay? Por ejemplo, eh, yo no puedo ir a comprar 1,500 arroces, pero sí puedo comprar una libra de arroz, right? I can, I can buy a, a pound of rice. So, ahí sí puedo utilizar countables o eh, con, con medidas de, de eso. Por ejemplo, yo no puedo decir, dame dos aguas. I can say, give me two bags of water, dos bolsas con agua. Or I can say, one cup of water. Puedo contarlo con otra medida. Yes. No con ellos mismos. Ellos mismos no se pueden contar. Right. Pero necesitan una medida que los cuente. Ya sea de peso, ya sea de lo que sea. For example, el que les acabo de mandar ahí al 
WhatsApp chat is this first one, okay? For example, here we have different uh, containers, jar, tub, glass, jug, bottle, pack, box, bowl, bowl, I mean bowl, carton, and bar. And we have different uh, uncountable nouns. We have chocolate, olive oil, biscuits, um, honey, margarine, water, coke, uh, milk, soup, and cereal. So, soup, is it soup? Yeah, it's soup. Soap, soup, wait a moment. Sopa, soup. sopa. Yeah, I think it's sopa. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is tube and jug? What is what? Tube and jug. Or jug, jug. I was going to say. Jug? Uh -huh. the, you're talking about this one, jug? Yes. Okay. And what, what is the other one? Uh, tube. Tube. Okay. Okay. E so, mm -hmm. jug is like a... How can I say this? Like a pichel in Spanish? Oh, okay. You know, you can also say pitcher because pitcher is also a a a a, a jug. Jug and pitcher are similar. And then we have a tub. Tub is like a container, but like a how can I say this? Like a topper. Do you know what is a topper? No saben qué es un topper, no? Yes, I know. Like, lo como lo que decimos cremera a veces. No. Yeah, so a tub is like a tub. Oh, no, como, como idea, como idea, exactly, idea. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Que soy de diferente, ¿verdad? Todos esos que se enroscan, herméticos, herméticos, herméticos. Sí, Herméticos. Herméticos. Yeah, herméticos. Correct, correct. Okay. So, we're going to organize these and we're going to say what they are para que podamos usar la medida. So, we have chocolate. Hmm. A jar, tub, glass, jug, bottle, pack. Bar. Bar. Bar, bar of chocolate. Okay. Uh, sí, pero también puede en, en, en margarine. Yeah. But we, we're going to say a bar, okay? Then olive oil. Uh, pack. A pack, you think? You sure? Cuando compra el aceite, ¿por qué medida lo compra? Botella. Exactly. So. Bottle. Uh, yeah, bottle. bottle. Correct. A bottle of olive oil. Yeah. Next. Biscuits. Do you know what are biscuits? They are similar. Yeah, yeah, like what? Uh, a bread. It's like uh, a cookie, right? Uh -huh, like, 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 like snacks. So uh -huh. what is a biscuit? So it will be what? Your top glass, jug, pack, box, bowl, or carton? Uh, maybe box. Maybe a box? Okay. Okay. Next one, we have honey. Honey, what is honey? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So what do you think is for honey? Ball. Hmm? Ball. A ball. A ball. Jar. Ball. Ball is a son. Jar. It's a jar. It's jar. a jar. Yeah. So jar of honey. Margarine, yeah. ¿Y qué vienen las margarinas, eh? Bar. En barra. bars, pero, pero también la barra viene dentro de qué otra cosa? De caja. Ajá. ¿Y cuál es? Box. Podemos usar box? Box. También podemos usar un pack. Right? Un paquete de margarinas. Yeah. Another one. Water. Hmm. What do you think is for water? A glass. A glass? Okay. Yes. Or, if for or coke? Jar. Yeah. Glass. 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 Glass.
Okay, let's write glass here. Okay, and a Coke. Uh, but jar we use it for honey. So we're gonna use a jug, maybe. ¿Y qué dijimos que era jug? Pichel. Un pichel de coca. Yeah, I can say that. El <laughs> dish here. Okay, pero solo para que sepan otro contexto en el que se puede usar, ¿ok? Para que sepan y lo tengan en cuenta. También jug es ese recipiente grandote que usted compra de agua. ¿Cómo le llaman a esto? Garrafón. Ah, garrafón. Entonces podríamos utilizarlo con water, right? Ay, encantada, pero un garrafón. Un garrafón de Coke. Oh my God. Hay personas que se le gusta el Coke. Está hecho un garrafón de Coke. Ya me llama Jasmine, si no es osteoporosis. Melanie, Melanie, eso. Oh, Melanie, perdón. Perdón, Jasmine. Ya, yeah. ok. Luego tenemos milk. ¿Por qué podemos comprar el milk? Cartón. Cartón, un cartón de leche. Ya, yeah. cartón. ¿The soup? Bowl. Bowl. No. ¿Han visto ustedes Ball. el Super Bowl? El gran tazón. Tazón. Yeah. And then we have cereal. But with cereal, ¿qué utilizaríamos? ¿Un top de cereal? Ahí puede ser mezclado, ¿verdad? Because top, ¿qué dijimos que era called top? A menos que sea en eso, como que guarda la gente el cereal, ¿verdad? En los, en los herméticos, ¿dónde guardan el cereal? Yeah, we can say top, top of cereal. O cartón de cereal. Oh, este... okay. Herméticos comidera. Exacto. Pero ahí hay, eh, por ejemplo, el chocolate y la margarina. Ah, pero es que la margarina es pues, el, el paquete, ¿no? Ya, yeah, pero ahí pueden cambiar. Chocolate puede ser perfectamente un paquete de chocolates también y margarina puede ser un bar. Ahí puede ser bar? utilizado. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. En realidad varios se pueden, por ejemplo, mire ahí Melanie quería a jug of chocolate, uh, I mean, a jug of coke. También se puede. It is up to so you. Coke. Yeah, it is up to you. Pero un poquito de coca -Cola. Un poquito, ok. So now, let's listen to this. We're going to talk about also a eh, there is and there are. Ya lo explicaba en la, en la clase anterior. Melanie ya está adelante. Yo, I know that she can, that she can um, understand this because she knew already. So we're going to talk about there is and there are. You're going to see. ¿Y por qué no se oye? Okay. So we're going to talk about there is and there are. There is and there are. Both things means hay, de haber, right? There is... We use it for singular nouns. And we also use it for uncountables. Okay? And then we have there are. There are, we use it for countables, contables, que son plurals. Okay? Like that. So we have there is and we have there are. Now, let's see some examples. So we use there is to say that something exists, right? There is an apple in the fridge, for example. We can say there is water, it's para un countables, right? There is water in the cup. Aunque también puedo utilizar some para decir there is some water, algo de agua. There is some water in the cup. Now, there are, I'm going to use it only with plurals that are singulars. So, for example, there are some apples on the table. Okay. And use another one. There are... There are books in the backpack. Okay? So there is, is for singulars and uh, uncountables, and there are is for plurals. Así se utiliza. Ambos significan hay, 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 de haber, ¿verdad? H-A-Y. 
I. And there is is for singular certain countables, and there are is for countables but plurals, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna use, and we're gonna see some examples of this. Wait a moment. Let me show you para que les muestre el ejercicio que vamos a hacer hoy. <coughs> okay, so here in this exercise we have there is and there are. So we have to complete this with either is or are. For example, number one, we have there a cat. A cat is a singular. So you think I can use is or are? Is. Right, correct, correct, correct. So, ¿qué me van a hacer ahorita? Aquí al chat de Zoom me van a mandar el número de pregunta con la respuesta. Ok, solo me van a decir, por ejemplo, one is, pero me los mandan todos juntos, separados, ok, todos juntos. ¿Me entienden la actividad? ¿Do you get the activity? Yes. Yes. Ok, me lo mandan solo a mí. Ahí pueden elegir una opción donde dice enviar a y le dan solo a inglés corporativo para que solo me caiga el mensaje a mí. And I'll be waiting for you. Una por una o hasta que tú? No, todas de una vez porque si no se me va a confundir todo el chat. Yes. Pueden separarlas con una coma, con un guión. Teacher, puedes enviar esa imagen al WhatsApp. Yes, of course. Creo que puede enviar esa imagen al chat. Yeah, of course. No la veo para escribir aquí en el teléfono. Okay. El WhatsApp, por favor. Yeah, ahorita, ahorita. No, no, no. I'm saying. Okay. Okay, ahí está. You have it.
¿Cómo elijo el chat? Eh, ahí donde dice enviar a, o dice tú, si está en inglés, te va a aparecer para aquí en el mensaje. Solo dele a inglés corporativo. Me aparece una lista de personas que son los que estamos conectados. Ya tengo las respuestas de Daniel y Hugo. Ahorita estoy revisando las de Hugo. I'm checking Hugo's homework. Por ahora le digo, primero le doy el icono de chatear. Ajá. Y luego que escribo. Ahí donde dice enviar a. Arribita de donde escribe el mensaje o a la parte tendría que aparecerle. Ah, ya, 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 Ahí ya, está. ya. Ajá, ajá. Excelente, Hugo, también. Okay, I'm waiting for the other ones. I have Daniels and Hugo's answers. Yo así entendí, no sé si está bien. Y yeah, ahorita lo dice. Ya sí entendí, no sé si es cierto. Ahorita estoy revisando. I'm checking. Excelente. Ok, Jasmine, I'm checking your answers too. Excelente, David. ¿En cuánto me equivoqué? No, 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 ninguna. All them right. You got them all right. Todas las tiene correctas. <laughs> Eso lo estoy esperando una respuesta más porque después podemos ir a hacer otra actividad. Ahí está en la caja de luz. Excelente. ¿Para cuándo tiene que estar completa la plataforma? Uh, quiero ver, para mañana. No, 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 no. Ya, ya, ya. Tomorrow I have classes with you. Para mañana tendría que ser hasta la sección 3. Hasta la sección 3. Ok. Ok. Bien, vamos a la siguiente actividad, you guys. I'm going to tell you the next activity. You can see there, this picture, okay? So in this picture, there are a lot of things happening. Hay muchas cosas pasando en ese momento, right? A lot of things. 
So, and I can use, and I can make sentences with there is and there are based on what I can see here, basado en lo que podemos ver acá, ¿verdad? So, for example, we have, uh, there is a man, there is a woman, there is a radio on the, on the piano, there are three burgers, there is uh, juice in the cup, there is a kid under the table, Puedo hacer muchas oraciones de esta imagen. A lot of sentences just from this picture, ¿ok? So, what are we going to do with this activity? ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esta actividad? Vamos a ir con las um, sentences, así como está, con la imagen como está ahí. Y vamos a sacar la mayor cantidad de... Denme un segundo. Este grupo de ustedes. Ustedes son... Okay. Eh, perdón, ¿qué dijo que íbamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer oraciones, la mayor cantidad de oraciones que podamos, ¿ok? Basados en eso. Se le escucha, teacher. I'm sorry, ¿ahora me pueden escuchar? Hoy sí. Vale, vamos a hacer, les decía, yeah. eh, una cantidad. Vamos a hacer, vamos a ver esa imagen que está ahí. Y lo que vamos a hacer es que basados en esa imagen de ahí, vamos a hacer oraciones que tengan que ver con there is and there are. Yes. Por ejemplo, ahí tenemos un niño, les decía, there is a kid on the table. Entonces yo voy a hacer las oraciones utilizando there is and there are. Miren, aquí en la pantalla les comparto. There is a kid on the table. Ok. Wait, wait, wait. O puedo hacer otra que diga there is a dog next to the baby. Hay un perro cerca del bebé, ¿verdad? There is a dog next to the baby. There is a radio on the piano, sobre el piano. We can say there are three burgers, o sea, hamburguesas, in front of the dog, en frente del perro, right? In front of the dog. So, yo puedo hacer muchas oraciones con esta imagen que tengo aquí. Yes. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a ir a hacer. Los voy a mandar en grupos para que hagamos esta actividad. A ver, que saquen la mayor cantidad de oraciones que puedan hacer. Yes. Do we get it? Vuelvo a poner. No, se las mandé en WhatsApp. Imagen, se las acabo de mandar al WhatsApp. ¿Está en el WhatsApp? Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ahorita revisé. Si no, igual acá se las comparto. Vamos a hacer dos grupos. Obviously, one is going to be two people and one is going to be three people. Ah, right? sí, sí, aquí está. Yeah. Okay, so we have... Bye. Ahí vamos a los grupos para que puedan trabajar con sus compañeros.
Hello, hello. Recuerden que la, la actividad es, es para que participemos y participemos todas y todo, ¿verdad? So you can participate all en pueden compartir pantalla para que vayan haciendo las oraciones porque yo las voy a llegar a revisar, ¿ok? I'm gonna go y las voy a revisar. Yes. No estoy en la sala, solo es un mensaje para todas las salas. ¿Cómo sería? ¿There are qué? There are two kids. Aquí. Two kids. Kids. Um, sing. Sing. Están cantando. Um, eh, aquí está, se ven tres libros. There are three books. There are three books. On the shelf. On the shelf. En la repisa. On the shelf. Oh. There are 
Ahí se los mandé. Oh, sorry, me equivoqué. Sí. Tendría que ser on. On. Sí. On the shelf. ¿Cómo se escribe? Ahí se oh. los Shelf. S-H-E-L-F. Rato. Uh, 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 there is a picture on the table. Bueno, three pictures. I, I can see three pictures because it's, it's one on, on the wall next to the radio and there are two um, there is on the wall but, but, but near of the gloves.
Ok, listen. Dos minutos más para que puedan compartir eh, pantalla y yo les voy a llegar a revisar las oraciones, ok. Dos minutos, llego a revisar oraciones. There are pictures on the wall. Hello, ¿dónde están las oraciones? Can I see the sentences? Lo dijo, teacher. ¿Y the sentences? Se las se la decimos así, teacher. No tiene una forma que me las puedan compartir para corregirlas ahí. Pues, yo no. No. Yo solo la escribí en un cuaderno. También. ¿Qué se la 
Solo que se las escribamos en el chat. Mm, manden las fotos al WhatsApp. Ok. Ya regreso. Ay, va a haber un detectado pateado. Yo creo que es tres. Está la tercera. Está la quinta. Ah, ok. No, no podemos compartir pantalla. Teacher. ¿Porque está en el teléfono? Sí. Vale, manden las fotos al WhatsApp entonces. Please. <risa> ¿Me puedes? <risa> uh, maybe, <Okay>. yeah. <risa> yes. O si quieren, las, yeah. le voy a dar para allá. Le voy, ya, ya me regreso, ya regreso. Ok, listen. Uh, antes de que las manden al WhatsApp chat, Pueden tomar eh, una foto y mandarla ya, o también puedo darle cinco minutitos solo para que las transcriban en algo y me las manden, así yo las pueda revisar, ¿ok? Tienen five minutes. Hello, pero para que no vayan uno por uno, las oraciones <ríe> las pueden escribir en Google Cuaderno o en una, un documento, ¿ok? Para que no vayan uno por uno, ¿ok?
¿Me que sí? Yes, sí. <risa> yes, of course. <risa> okay. ¿Qué estamos platicando? Um, que there is a bowl cola champán on the table. A cola champán. <risa> Bottle. Yeah. Uh, Here, there is one. Oh my goodness, I can see that. Que no si era gaseosa, jugo, o le pusimos con la champán. Aparece allá cuando uno del estadio gaseosa, jugo, power. <laughs> Pero es bottle, verdad? Yeah. Bottle. Yeah, yeah. Bottle. Veo que estás compartiendo pantalla. Yo sí veo la pantalla. Hola, hola. Una imagen. Sí, sí. Ah, eh, pues sí, estamos bien ahí. You've sí, es que eh, no eh, sabíamos cómo, o sea, era mucho pues la transcribirla y, y los garabatos que uno escribe, pues bueno. Vaya, pongan la otra, quiero empezar de la otra. There is cube in the floor, there is next to the cube, there is what? ¿Qué os quería poner ahí? ¿Cuál? ¿La tercera? La segunda, la segunda. Eh, a cubo. Ah, es que le taché el... La I, cube. 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 Ah, pero... There is cubo. a boy on the table. There is a boy on the table there. Uh, there, are, there are six, six, there are six glasses in the, in the room. In the, in the room. La siguiente, pasen. There is a dog. Uh, there uh, are eight children in the room. There is a one. Uh, a one. Uh, one. One woman. Okay. Um, a ya es Just uno. one. Yo tendrían que poner a. Ajá, exactly. A R R redundar. Sí, le, todo, en todas. De hecho, de donde dice there is a mom, there is a radio, uh, there is a piano, era lo mismo. Okay. There is this the one picture. The mismo. There are three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, todas esas ajá están de más. Y ya lo que pasa es que A es uno ya. Un uno. Sí. Okay. Entonces ya decir lo demás es arredondarlo. O sea que no lo tenemos que poner aunque sea más de uno. Correct. Ah, ok. Si ya va a decir A, ya dijo uno. Entonces no puede decirlo de nuevo. En el caso que eran seis, eh, in, solo eh, there are six. De, de, ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok, ok. okay. Y eso creo que sería el, el mistake que les corregiría.
Okay, you guys, that was good for today. Eso sería todo por esta clase. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Take care. Gracias.